dubious ones welcome back and today i am giving you something a little different we are playing street fighter 6 today this video is not for everybody this video is for those who are stuck in the lower tiers silver and below in ranked and those who are just looking to play street fighter 6 and maybe aren't super proficient at doing manual inputs for all your super abilities or in all your regular interactions. This video goes out to those who are looking to get better and for those in the lower tiers who want a guide on modern. Not everybody is a god tier player that can remember 30 hit combos. Not everybody is a god tier player that can remember how to properly drive rush without like burning out your entire bar instantaneously. So, for all of those of you, because I've looked for these on YouTube and I can't find them, for those of you looking for a very basic guide on how to use modern, specifically with Rashid today, but modern in general, this video is designed for you. So, what we're gonna go over first, as we have some uh, parameters set for our dummy, but that's not what we're worried about right now. Right now we're gonna show you the basics of modern Rashid. What he has, what he loses, um, and just the general how to use Rashid in modern. So, first off, your special buttons. As you can see right here, I am playing on a hitbox. And I will show you with our special button. No direction in special. We've got that. We've got our projectile. You can charge it. Unfortunately on modern, we don't get a manual input for this. So you only get this much control. Same thing goes for our friend, the Dragon Spike. Very cool move, can be strong. Look at this. Fortunately, that's as far as across the screen we can go, unless we hold our good old auto combo button right here. And then you can go for one of these. This is holding back with the special button. Boom, and then just back special button. Let's try it again. You can easily combo this. Oops. Well, if they're in the corner, you can combo it like that. Let's move her over here. So if you go with a back and hold the combo button to do your EX version into the back special button, you can do a quick one like that. Now I'm gonna show you super easy, the obvious combos that you're gonna learn right away. Hold our good old special input button and press Weak punch three times. We'll just mash it because it's on modern. The beauty is you get to mash things. Boom, boom, boom. That is our combo with medium. And you have a super gauge of one. This is what happens. Just keep mashing. You can keep mashing. It doesn't matter how much you mash it. And we'll even go into a 2800 point combo. Now, mashing with heavy. Very important. This is very strong. But they can hit right after. They can hit immediately after. And they can block on the second one. And you can mash this away. But what happens is if we go to super level three. So let's get our gauges. So if we go to super level three, this is what's gonna happen. Hold down your combo button, hit, hit the heavy button three times, or a bunch of times, and you combo new to level three, and you will do a very good amount of damage. Look at that beauty. Now, some things you should know. With our strongest auto combo is gonna be number two. You can see right here. This guy, look, doesn't even require directional input. Just hold combo button and wham, bam, Boom, thank you ma'am. Here is a nice combo. Yes, that's very nice. Now, what else can we do with it if we don't have a super ready? Well, you can 
remember, you can manual input. You can do special button for these. So if you hold forward and special, it'll give you your anti-air. Hold down, they'll give you that guy. If you hold back, it'll give you your weak dragon spike. Neutral, forward, great. But we do have a few inputs we can manually put in to not lose that 20% damage that you get from modern. So this is our weak punch. Down forward punch. Down forward medium gives us in the air. And down forward heavy gives us that. Now if we go down back. Down back gives you that little win combo. That's with heavy. That's with medium. This is with light. I would have preferred dragon spike as our down back. Because that's pretty much all you get with Rashid. You lose... Just to show you, with Rashid, you do lose quite a bit on Modern, but that's okay, and I'll t let you know why. So, for our special moves, we lose Eagle Spike with a, with with like a Mega, because what it, what? how do you do it? Eagle Spike is down back kick, but instead we're getting Air Cyclone, which is down back punch. So, same thing, Whirlwind Shot. We're getting Spinning Mixer instead of Whirlwind Shot. So we don't get the three variations of that. You get the EX version and the Special Button version. But that is okay because we have some very, very strong assisted combos. Which, if you're like me and you're not a top tier player that can memorize a 50% gauge or a 30% gauge combo and time everything perfect every time all we have to do is hit our combo assist and we get some beautiful combos What I'm going to show you is some very good combos with assisted combo two that you can do when you don't have your super just to end it so If they're in the corner You can use one of two options. You can end the combo in a spinning mixer up Or a spinning mixer forward so that would either be medium or heavy on the spinning mixer. So we just hit auto combo one, two, three, four, and you can mash these. And then you, and then, oh, I accidentally went into that because I had super, which is will happen when you're mashing. But watch this if we don't do that one and we get the down forward in time, we can do that one. But if they're in the corner like she is, you can also do the DP version. Oops, did not mean to do that. And see that we mashed too hard and we wasted the level three. I've done that in ranked. It sucks. We're gonna try again here. And no, we didn't get it. And down forward punch. Just mash, mash, mash. No. We will get it here. Uh, and we got the level three again. Oh, but that time we caught her. See, that time it was fast enough. And we did the manual input, so we'll get the max damage. 4120 out of that combo. Look at that. That was by accident. So, careful when you have your spirit meter. We're just going to make this a lot easier on ourselves. And we are going to set our gauges down to two, so I don't accidentally do that again. And watch this. We can also do the DP version like that but only if she's in the corner if we do it this way and she's not in the corner this guy will miss Let's try again oh she's in the corner so it'll hit but that will miss if she's not in the corner so we'll try and show you the miss and we're just gonna mash see you miss it there but if they're not in the corner, it's okay. You just go into the medium, and that one will hit. So again, we're just mashing our combo, and then we get to about here. We're just doing mashing down forward and punch over and over again. And it'll usually work. Not always, because I don't know the cancellation timing. I don't know frame data. I don't know none of that stuff. We're talking about the basic silver bitches but you can land it into that. And guess what else you can land it in? I'll show you right here. You can also land it into the EX version. We will keep mashing, mash, and start down forward EX. No. But see, this is what happens when you don't actually know your timing. 
Ah, so you can mash it into the EX version, but my timing is not wonderful. And as you can tell, silver tier player, it's not, so maybe don't try and go to the EX so much, because it's a lot more difficult than mashing into that. Once you get to about here, you can just start mashing. Down, forward, and punch. I hit it a lot more consistently in ranked than I do in training mode, apparently. But, cause this one is pretty easy to just mash forward the down, forward, into it. But, I seem to be way off with my timing in training mode for some reason. Anyways, there are things you can do with modern to add to what you already have. Right? Try that one more time and we'll try the EX. No. Didn't quite get there. But you understand what I'm saying. There we go. And so that's what the EX spinning mixer, which you can mash into. Um, your basic combo is going to be this guy. Not a bad amount of damage considering it requires no bar. You can be in burnout. You can use this. Um, powerful thing about the heavy is you can roll that and when they're blocking or trying to mash hitting you, see look what she's doing. She's just mashing counter hit every time. And watch. You can throw loop that. You can go right into a throw. It's beautiful. And that is just hitting our heavy combo button into a throw. Just mashing forward and combo combo assist. Combo assist with heavy button. If we don't have a level three, because if you have a level three, it'll go into your level three. But if you don't, it'll do that nice little combo. And a lot of times for players who are mashing, you'll be able to hit this multiple times into them before they actually block it because they're always trying to mash out. And then you can throw the throw, which is very, very useful, I found, uh, in ranked matches. Um, now, what else did I want to show you? So he has some very good in-air attacks. So this is like an anti-air if you just hold up, neutral and up, with heavy. And it does this cool anti-air kind of thing. He also has an in-air throw, which is very useful. And something with Rashid is if you if you dash forward which is not something us lower tier players do often but if you dash forward and hold it he'll run and what you can do out of the run is if you do light if you do light attack you'll switch sides of them if you do heavy attack or medium attack it'll do that and now another cool thing is Heavy punch and medium punch together while pressing forward. We'll do a jump, we'll do a little cartwheel, an aerial, over. And if you press it twice, press it twice, you'll jump, you'll jump behind them. So it'll give you a good distance behind them. Now, if, and you have to hold forward to do it, not back. You can't be blocking while doing that. You have to be holding forward to do that. But if you hold forward and do it twice, in the direction they're in, you'll get a good distance between you. If you hold forward and then press back, it'll drop you closer to them. You notice that? You see that? So it'll drop you right behind them. But if you hold forward for the whole thing, it'll give you more of a distance between them. But if you immediately go from forward to back, it'll keep you close. And why is that useful? Show you here because you can immediately combo into something like this so it gives you like a cross up let's put her over here let's move her so it can give you the chance for a cross up like that and you can go into something with high damage like your uh, medium fierce or your medium punch medium hit combo assist button, right? Now, he has good pokes. 
not that we used much. This is the neutral poke. This is the down poke. This is down back. Sorry, this is down back poke. This is just back poke, same as neutral poke. Down poke is the same as down back poke, but down forward poke, different. Holding forward poke, different. That's all with heavy. Here is with medium. Cover a good amount of distance with that. Down medium, down back medium. Medium is the same as back medium. Forward medium, neutral medium is the same as back. Weak, back weak is the same, forward weak is the same. Down, down forward, back. So for your weak buttons, they're all the same. Jumping, you have this for kick, this for medium. Sorry, this for weak, this for medium, this for fierce. That's just on neutral jump. Jumping backwards, you've got the down kick, you've got that for medium, and this for weak. Forward, that's that. That's that. This is weak, this is medium, this is fierce. And of course you have your wall jump if you have enough screen behind you. Is she not all the way to the end? So if they're just holding back, or if you're stuck in the corner, you can wall jump. Very cool. Um, otherwise, it's basically just this is like gonna be your super powerful, and then being able to combo that into mixer and stuff when you don't have a super or you don't want to waste the bar. Being able to combo into those is super, super useful. Obviously, you can combo it into the Rashid kick, but the Rashid kick you could see did 25 60 damage, right? How much is this? Doing, oh, sorry, wrong combo. How much is this doing if we just go into a spinning mixer? More damage. Wow, we did more damage than we did if we actually went into the super. 236, no, we didn't. Okay, 2900. 2900. 2900 versus. 29. Trying to start with the jumping. So 2600, so you're losing 300 damage, but you're saving a whole super bar. So very useful. And with the 2720, if you're doing the anti air, if they're in the corner for that. How much with the EX? Let's see. How much will it do with the EX? Couldn't quite get it off there. Ugh. See, it's hard for us to get the EX off. So let's EX normally hold this and just press... We can do that with just press Y forward once. So if we use it with a special button, we are going to lose that 20% damage on it, but we'll see what it does here. I feel like it should be easier to Couldn't press it down while I'm doing it. Okay, so 2696, and we're using an extra bar for that versus versus 2690 versus. Oops, I'm canceling too early. 2720, so it's not even worth using the special button even though you can do that. Because you, you're, you're using so many more bars to do that than you are just to do it the normal way and just run that, right? I really want to get the EX version though, without using the special button. That should, should just be that. Oh, it's because that does that thing. So it's, it's kind of interfering with my button presses. Gotcha. So there you go. 2780. It's not really worth the extra 80 damage to spend the meter, in my opinion. When you can just do that, that's 2720, and if they're not in the corner... 
2600. It's not really worth the extra meter to me, but it's up to you um, with your level two medium here. Um, but those are your, your basic combos that you're gonna go through with Rashid at the lower levels. Again, like I said, if you're in the camp that you can do drive rush and like things and not waste your whole meter and just destroy people with like awesome drive rushes in the beginning. Like for me, anytime I press the drive rush button, it's like like when I when I go for one, it's I, I just see the combo starts or the buttons press, and if I'm pressing forward at all to do anything else. It just uses my entire meter, you know what I mean? So I'm just not proficient at doing that yet, so that isn't for me. But these combos very just mash one button over and over with your combo assist button and do 2800 damage. I'm all about that. Oh, one thing I didn't show you that you can combo into though, uh, that is sometimes worth it with your level 2 here. I'll show you with um, holding the combo assist with uh, medium punch. Or a medium attack, you can go into the level three. So this is the level one will give you 2,900 damage. Level three will give you. This is with mashing the two button special, so it's super easy. And that'll give you a 43% damage combo. So jump in, boom, boom, boom. Once you get to this, just hold down and just mash. All we're doing, chat. Oops. All we're doing for that part is holding down and pressing our two buttons for a super. We're just mashing the crap out of that uh, once we hit that part of the level two combo. Like you can see here, it'll do 32% of your health anyways. So, is it worth using it in this combo? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool that you can just do this super easily and get a 43% damage. Whereas if you just hold the heavy button when you have a level three, this is how much damage. You have. This is the level three easy combo, and this is just literally hold combo button and hit the heavy button over and over. So you're getting 3,900 versus what were we getting from this one? This one. That also uses a little bit of your gauge. But... 4,360. 4,360 versus 3,200. 3,900. So you're only getting four, it's not that much more, so it's not like you need to break the bank to go for this one, and you're using a little EX to go for that one, but it's super easy. So if you have the level three and you want to spend it, ah, oh, that's a pretty combo, right? Let's see if we can go with dive, this, this, how much will this add to our damage at all? Will this push us over 4,000? Jumping in. No. So 3940 versus bam, 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 bam. Oops. Too late, too late. Oh, we got him. No. So an extra about 400 damage. If you have the meter, you can spend it, right? So auto combos are great. Modern is wonderful. We lose out a lot because all we have is three buttons for attacks. We don't have punches and kicks. We just have the three buttons, right? So you got your down back. It's this, so you don't get an eagle spike. The only way to do eagle spike is with your special button, like that, and it's weak sauce. But you can hold the combo button, do an EX. You can combo that into things. Hold back to do the EX. Do things like this. So you get the EX, so you still get a little bit of out of Eagle Spike. Again, the only way to do this is gonna be through your special button in neutral. You can charge it, but you can't really control 
the rest of it. At least we have spinning mixer, so, oops. Spinning mixer, down forward weak, you don't lose anything. Get the full version if you do it this way. Get the full version if you do it that way. And you get the full version if you do it that way, if you do the actual inputs. So this is actual input versus special button. Not a huge difference, that's the 21% difference. But again, this only moves you if you hold forward and press the special button. It's just a DP, an anti-air. Whereas down forward will let you do that. Down forward will also let you do that. And down forward will also let you do that. Same thing with down back. Get this. Medium. The weak version. And if you to do it with the special, you hold down. And you can do things out of this. Oh yeah, I can't do eagle spike, so maybe go like this. I'm gonna see if that'll... Is there any way to make that go longer? No. Okay, so there we go. So if you go down back and then mash the back and special button, it'll do that. Same thing if you just keep mashing down, back, and fierce. Oops. I mean to do that. So there's no way to do this auto combo wise. Um, the only way to do your that special, I think, is with um, holding forward. Oh, nope. So hold, hold sorry, holding backwards. So holding backwards will do that. I don't ever really use it. But it does make your stuff better. You go spike through it, so you can do some things with it. Let's try it again for a little bit more of a distance. What happens if we eagle spike through it? So it makes us go a little bit further. Obviously, you can't do this with it because you're not going to have a level three after you use a level two. But you get the idea. This is just ma mainly more for your basic knowledge. You have your anti-air, you have your neutral, a little bit of a, a little bit of a Hadouken, you know, charge it to give it two hits or multiple hits. Back, it's a really weak eagle spike, so if you're not doing the DP version, of course, it's just, it's not very strong, and it's very slow, um, but it's not the end of the world because I would say strictly because of this combo. This combo does so much damage. Sorry, I'm gonna try and stop with the core there. But this combo, without any meter at all, other than just like the one EX, you're getting 21, you're getting 20% damage off that one combo. Your weak combo, your pokes, 1450. This. 1500 for a basic, and you can kind of loot that, and you can also combo it. So, I mean, Rashid gives you a lot on modern. I hope this video was helpful to some, uh, as I find it really hard to find any guides on modern. It's not basically, I guess this is not tutorial mode, but, or the like combo thing mode. But it's not showing you like going into like a million hit combos where it's like, oh look, and you can do this, and you can press this button, and then you can do this, and then you'll like hit like a 70 hit combo that'll take away like 90% of their health. Well, you know what? I showed you one super easy one. Look, look, look how hard this combo is, chat. Look, look, look. I'm, I'm going to hit these buttons. I hope you can see. We're going to walk up towards them. We're holding our combo assist button here. We're gonna press the medium hit button here, and then we have to find where down is. So we're gonna go boom, 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 mash this up, and then now now we're just mashing this. Now we're just mashing these two buttons with down, and I showed you how to do a combo that didn't require any timing, and still did 41% damage of, of their gauge. And just mashing it normally without having any gauge, still will do 20%. You throw in a level one in there, 2800. You don't want to throw the level one in there. Again, throw in the spinning mixer. I do the manual input forward for it. 
I th let's try try it with the. Okay, so yeah, you can do it with that. So you can do it with the special input button as well, like that, and get 2,500 damage. Though problem is, if they're further away, you're gonna need that, and there's no special button that'll give you that one. I'll show you right here. So mash this, and now I'm just gonna start mashing the special button input. See if that's not gonna hit them if they're not in the corner. But if you can hit down forward and punch, boom. Look at that. And it didn't require any super bar, and we got 23 23% of their life. And you still get 21% even without anything on top of it. So Rashid is very, very strong on modern. For those of you who are basic bitches like me who are using modern, who still can do a DP input, but very much enjoy not having to learn 30 hit combos and can just do stuff like this for 14% damage or stuff like this for 20% damage or stuff like this to combo into a level 3 all just by mashing then you might appreciate this video and I hope you did I hope it helped everybody one more time we're gonna look at this look how easy that was Chad so easy. Even you can do it. Oh, we comboed too early. Or did we just not hit the... Is that what we get from not doing the overhead? No, we just comboed. We just forgot that last hit. Dropped into this too early. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So there you go. Nailed it, as he said. I hope this is helpful, chat. I really hope you guys got something out of this. Oh, oh, one thing I did forget, and I wanted this. I recorded it and everything. Okay, so four, drive reversals. Let's get rid of this so we don't accidentally throw out a level three. So, dummy settings. Let's go play. We just want you to do drive impacts. You can do your heavy, and if you started hitting the heavy, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Look at this. Eating those drive impacts. Eating those drive impacts. We are just mashing, auto combo, and heavy. And look, if you hit the first hit first, it will eat up drive impact. How beautiful is that? Now, if you don't hit it on the first frame, like, if you're not already throwing it, and they throw it, it won't mash through it. But if they try drive impacting you when you're just mashing this, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to make people lose. If, sorry, your drive, your drive rush. Thanks, shit. Sorry, your drive impact, I should say, not drive rush. Just mashing it. But again, if they, if they hit it before, you like hit, hit the beginning of the combo you're, you're screwed right but if you're already in the middle of of mashing it it won't hit through it and if you're in a loop of it again see it won't help them it's not helping in the loop but see how he was blocking and then he threw it got through it because you're gonna find a lot of this and again if you're jumping in not safe if you're jumping in against it, not safe. So if you like to jump in like I do, you don't have a lot of options. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. So you have to counter them. Is there a way for me to be jumping into the air at the... Not even when she woke up with it the second time. Still couldn't beat it. So be cautious, but it is cool to see things beat drive impact, and you can't just drive impact me out of it while I'm mashing it, right? If I'm in the middle of mashing it, it's my turn. Wow, she got her turn on the third one, though. No. I got you even when you blocked. I got you again. Mash, 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 mash. If I mash fast enough, you cannot drive impact me. Oh, it's got me. So, there you go. Anyways, I hope that was helpful. Obviously, if you have a level 3, 
you're gonna cancel into the level three. We'll show you that too. But it uh, it is something. The uh, heavy mash there, super cool. Okay, where's the where's my H? There we go. So obviously you have a level three. Wait. Now. Uh. Okay. Now. Now. My turn. You'll go into the level three. Right. Which is fine if you're hitting. Please, you're gonna you're gonna go into the level three. Oh, nice. We drive. I think she would have won that drive impact battle there. To be honest. If I didn't go into the super, I think she would have got it. Ah, oh, again. Look at that with the level 3. Oh, look at that. Just being able to mash auto combo forward and... Uh, cool. Good to know. But there you go. The strength of auto combo and the fierce button. So, chat. I hope this was somewhat uh, helpful. I hope you guys get something out of this. I am a very average Street Fighter player. My Rashid is at a silver three, I believe, or maybe I got up to silver four. You can check based on my last stream that is up on the channel as I played completely blind with Rashid um, for my ranking placement. I didn't take him into training, didn't know how to do any of his specials. I just went blind with Modern see where I landed, didn't want to learn any of his buttons until I like learned it through playing, and I managed to land in silver. So Rashid is very, very strong considering how old I was on playing Street Fighter as I hadn't played it recently. It's a brand new character, I'd never touched him once before, but after now playing him for a whole uh, streaming session, I feel much more comfortable with him. It's very strong, very great, and yeah. Please uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far. Please leave me more comments down below if there's anybody else you'd like me to give you a very basic tutorial on how to play with a uh, modern character with modern controls, because that's what I'm doing in Street Fighter VI. I do not have the time to spend trying to learn these cool, awesome, perfect frame, perfect timing on all the stuff. I'd rather be able to just mash the buttons and focus more on learning my anti-airs and throw timing and teching things and blah blah blah. So yeah, if there's any other characters you'd like me to go through on uh, Modern, because some players are better than others and some players do have better combos than others, feel free to leave it in the comments down below and I'll happily uh, take a little time through it and practice and try and show you whatever I can that's helpful. Anyways, dubious ones, everyone, like, comment, subscribe, show my channel some love if you can, and if you got anything out of this, I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next Street Fighter game. Cheers, everybody.